Sergio Studios. Extra. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another production vlog for the 300th episode of The Sergio Show. So, I want to share this because I'm at the point in production where I'm in another scene. This is a sequence that I just was uh, just thinking about and I wondered and I got it all together here and the thing is... So I'm at a point in the story where um, Sergio, me, is going to confront evil Sergio. which he, The way that it's set up, he's in the other side of this field, this battlefield, and um, he has to fight his way through. And I was dreading that moment because I was like, how am I going to do this? How is this going to work? I didn't have any storyboards and I still don't of how this is going to work and how I'm going to map it out and how long the scene is. So what I ultimately did was, um, I think the earliest thing I did was like record dialogue, which you can see here of like me trying to go through things and punch things and react to things and then animate to that. And I try to list like what noises can be what character. I made a little list off there of um, what weapon I should use and uh, all that stuff. So that's how that's how I set this up. It's just this character going through some things, animated to the dialogue and recording and timed that stuff. And I just put in these characters, which you can see here. There's five characters that I defeat on my way. So that's that's the interesting thing. So he's in this this pose. I'm trying to animate to my reaction. So here he is running across. He's running. He's making noises. He's Preparing himself to do the one punch right here. This one special punch. There you go. So you see here. Boom. And this is just a solid drawing. So while I was animating, I decided let me animate like I don't know, some, some kind of like impact to the punch with a little drawing of this layer. Like flesh to make the punch more stronger. And there were some points where I did have to zoom in the camera. Um, because I thought, so you can see the, the, the impact in the punch a little bit more and have moments of slow motion. Like Later I'm going to do some slow-mo effects later on. But yeah, he gets punched here. And then I'm still like, oh, let's do this. And then another character comes in. Just starts really, I, I don't know, I just move the character around according to the certain poses of the dialogue. Right here, boom, another impact to the face. Then I draw another one. And then, boom, goes down. So you see, like that. And that's what I was trying to figure out while I was animating this. This, this whole thing took two hours and ten minutes to animate. So here we go, another one. I drew, like, um, things blasting. And characters reacting to it. I didn't. I want it to be comically violent, but not gory. So that's why there's no gore. <laughs> this little little graphics flying around, but I think it's still funny and cute. Uh, oh, oh. Then I would get the sword. A lot of it's rigged before, like like that it was separate from that. But then I put that there. Another character comes in. Gets like poked in the side, and held on. That I was trying to do that one like oh you got me somehow i held on i think his neck fat just connected to the to the sword and then whoop. yeah i know this is very interesting stuff chunks and this also um i think i forgot but this this scene is done uh 24 frames per second usually i animate uh 12 frames per second but because this is an action scene I said, let me do uh, 24 frames. So this whole thing is actually 25 uh, seconds for being in total. So like so many frames. And the background was the last thing I animated because it was a white background during the production. And I was like, okay, let me put the background. I got to animate the background because he's actually like moving um, in place, really. He's supposed to run across or, you know, like fight across. But that would be difficult tracking one so it's in one place and it's easier to move the background so maybe the background longer and just animate the background when i got to that part i hear this one is like mm, boom there eyes off back to business and then he goes off camera to finally confront evil sergio 
So I want to share that moment because when I started, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get get to this and how is it going to come out animation wise. But it came out how it came out. It actually is uh, not bad. So it's 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 pretty good. It's uh, once I add, um, I think a couple slow mo effects and sound effects, it's really going to start coming together. But so far, so good again. And I'm really enjoying this too. So I want to share this little interesting moment of of, of fighting and and comedy and animated violence and stuff. So again, I hope you enjoyed this too. So that's it for this little sneak peek production vlog of this part of the production of the 300th episode of the Sergio Show. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on all of the social medias and stuff. And uh, thank you. I am Sergio Dominguez saying. Have an animated day. Jumped off my lap. Yeah.